It's uh, Mathman. Mathman. Um, Robbie, have you installed Windows 7 with a new copy since 1022? I bought Pro to be sure my XP programs would run, and now I find out my HP computer doesn't run virtualization. Uh, apparently there was an article in PC Magazine. Hmm. Uh, something MS didn't mention until you prepare for an install. Know anything about this? Running Vista now. Um, I don't specifically. You'd have to tell us what the computer model is. Usually, though, if you're not supporting virtualization, it, it means hardware virtualization. You should still be able to use a product like VirtualBox or VMware and be able to virtualize. You just might not get some of the uh, higher-end components or features of your CPU because uh, it'll have to be software virtualized. So you might lose the ability to have 64-bit guests, for example, in which case you would have to use the 32-bit Windows 7 uh, if it doesn't support if it doesn't, that's that's generally what you're going to run into. I think is is if your processor doesn't support hardware virtualization, you're going to have to use a 32-bit guest, as far as I can understand, because it's not going to be able to virtualize a 64-bit guest. So we should be able to work around that and do virtualization regardless. Let us know. Let us know. But yeah, I did. I have installed uh, Windows 7 since then.